everyone, I'm ER from Amigas Basket. Welcome to the kitchen. This time we're going to learn something that I never thought I would ever taste again when I turned vegan. Potato salad. Okay, this is, this is very exciting because yes, as I mentioned a while ago, I never thought I would taste something as good as this ever again. So let's start up. So right now we have here the potatoes prepared, boiled potatoes, boiled kamote, and the pineapple and all the other ingredients. So first, we are going to cook the pineapple. Here, let's start off the fire. This fire is too big. Let's move to the smaller one. Okay, so these are the pineapples. One half of how plenty your um, potatoes would be. So pineapples inside the pan. Pineapples add together with sugar. The sugar is so that it will be caramelized and so that it will be a little bit much sweeter. Okay. So yes, we are cooking the pineapples because there's a taste in the raw pineapples that we do not want. It, it doesn't go well with potato salad. So right now, while that is boiling, let's prepare the potatoes. And yes, I do not want my hands to be sticky. I am going to use some gloves. And let's do this. This gloves is creating some noise. But here we go. Okay, so potatoes, we're going to slice these potatoes into cubes. Square. But really, you can slice this any way you want. But I'm slicing it this way to make it much easier. Squares. Okay, so this was boiled until it's really soft. Just soft enough and not too soft. It might break apart. Okay. And yes, um, no reason for this, uh, the shape, but there's a reason for the size. You don't want it to be too small or too big. Not too small because you want to taste the potatoes. If it's too small, it, it like when you mix it up with the mayonnaise, it's like it's going to be, it's going to be like part of the mayonnaise. You don't want that. You still want to have a solid taste of the potatoes. So just this size. See this like, uh, just like my thumb. So let's slice this up. Slice all the potatoes. Now if you can see, um, the potatoes are like, typically when we do cooking shows, we prepare for two or three. And, but this time we're preparing for like five or six. And yes, uh, I, I now found the word for why we shouldn't slice it too small. Because it's going to be M-U-S-H-Y, mushy. You don't like that. And I don't like it either. Maybe for some dishes, it's good. Okay, so after the potatoes, we have the kamote. We want to slice it the same size so that it won't be, what's that word again? Mushy. All right, so potatoes and kamote. If you want more kamote, you can add more kamote. But this time, it's more of potatoes and a little bit of the kamote. So meanwhile, doing this, don't forget to check on your pineapples because they might be burned. For me, it's not yet burned, it's just good, but not cooked enough. So right now, we have this. We want the potatoes also to absorb some of the, uh, the taste and the goodness. So we have here some of salt. Put in the salt there. And some of the onions. There we go. Onions. And the garlic. Give it a generous stir. Here we go. Stir and stir. Just don't stir too much. It's going to be mushy or it, it, won't, it won't look good. And Okay, there we go. After the stir, now we are going to prepare the main thing in potato salad. The reason why I really thought I wouldn't have potato salad anymore, the mayonnaise. So our mayonnaise right now is really healthy without the eggs and without the vinegar. Okay, so here we go.
That's the cashew that I uh, soaked a while ago. So it's actually better to soak it because it becomes softer. It's easier to blend. And here we have a block of tofu. This is like uh, 100 grams maybe. So let's chop this up to little chunks. Easier to blend. Okay, there we go. And yes. We are going to put a little bit of, if you have honey, it would be better, even for this one. And we're going to put in the mayonnaise a little bit of cocoa sugar. And as I said about honey, it would be better with, because it won't produce a brownish color. A cup of water. So as you see in here, I just put water up to the brim of, well not really brim, like the level of what we put here, the, to, uh, the tofu and the cashew. Now let's give it a blend. Here we go. Cover your ears. <laughs> so right now, it's finally done. And yes, it should be fine. Just like mayonnaise is fine. Now let's squeeze the calamansi. Remember, um, I use four calamansis here. So, upat kabuok ng calamansi and the tablespoon of uh, sugar para balance ang iyahang sweetness and the sourness in it. Here we go. Into the bowl. Alright. And yes, to add the flavor, onions na bud. And garlic and yes some salt there we go that was like half a tablespoon of salt and we're giving it last blend okay here we go Okay, finally it's done. So we have our mayonnaise here, our potatoes, and the pineapple. Now we're going to give this mayonnaise. We're going to cook the mayonnaise in a pan. Here we go. Keep the pan in medium, a little bit uh, closer to low heat. So let's put this in the pan. Okay, and stir it. Don't leave your mayonnaise too long in the pan. It's going to burn so fast and it sticks so fast to the pan. All right. So yeah, you see here, um, our mayonnaise is basically um, tofu and cashew. So. Uh, almost the same composition as eggs. We do have lots of protein in here. The good kind of protein, yeah. So now we are cooking it. And as you can see, it is a little bit too dry. We can add water. And actually the water will just evaporate again later. Just so that we can mix it well. And yes, let's go back to this. Every drop counts. So... Let's add a little bit of water here, and okay, mix it up. Okay, that's it. Nothing left in there. Now let's just cook it a little bit more. Here we go. Okay, so while you are cooking this, you can taste it a little bit. See if the salt and the sourness and the sweetness is in there. Okay, here we go. Mm. Just the right amount of salt and right amount of sweetness and sourness. That's so good. Now, when it's starting to boil, just give it a stir again. 
Okay, so we're going to cook the mayonnaise until it's, um, when you cook tofu and um, blended cashew, it starts to become sticky and it starts to have this consistency nga, wala ni siya kaganina, ang consistency nga naa sa mayonnaise. Starting, just be careful that it doesn't burn. Okay. Here we go. Let's give it a little bit of high heat. All right. It's done. Once we're done, add in the chopped celery right there. Turn the heat off first and add in the celery. I can smell it by now. Oh my. This is going to be really good. Okay. So, your mayonnaise is done. And now, I think all is prepared. We have the potatoes here. Na sliced na and na slather na siya salamas. And we have the mayonnaise and our lovely pineapples. Ang pineapple, muna siya ang mag-break sa monotony sa taste nga naa sa potatoes and sa mayonnaise. So now, let's put in the pineapples. There we go. Sakto na pagkaluto ang pineapples. And then, our mayo. Oh, that's really hot. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Thank God for gloves. Put in... The mayonnaise on there. You can put as much mayonnaise as you want. Just don't make it into a soup. It's supposed to be potato salad, not potato soup. Okay. There we go. Alright, so get rid of these gloves. And now, here they are, everything in. That's really good. Now you can add more celery if you want to. Celery, there we go. And yes, we have turmeric here. I didn't put it, but if you want your mayonnaise to be like a little bit yellow, you can add turmeric. And if you want it a little bit reddish, you can put in some uh, red peppers. So let's give this a toss. I said I want to go stir. It's not actually stir. It's, yeah, the right word is toss. Here we go. Give it a good say, toss. And toss. It's, it's good that you find a way to toss it around without um without kaning kana mabungtag bito ang potatoes and ang kamote but it will still look good okay, here we go wow it's starting to be like very generously mixed around okay here we go now it's done so let's put this in a plate better pineapples Potatoes, celery, and the mayo. Very good combination, man. Yeah. Okay. And let's put some of this pineapple on the top. Here we go. There. Wow. This looks like mayonnaise, right? So, pineapples. Okay. Wow. Wow. Mmm. I could finish this, but yeah, man, this is so tasty, and you saw it. It was so easy. Just so simple, like I prepared the mayonnaise, and I, I, we can show you the ingredients later on, and you can check it out, how to make the mayonnaise, and we just prepared the potatoes and the pineapple and all the other ingredients. That was so easy. So guys, try this at home. Never forget to try it, and yes, enjoy the food and mga... Friends and everyone, you can check out all our other videos. Learn more. You can, you can, you can. You have a lot to choose from. More menus that are really, really healthy. And yes, do not forget. God wants you to be safe, healthy, and happy. And yes, so make him your partner whenever you eat and whenever you cook. Enjoy. He's coming. Broadcasting Network.